Hey there. This is Bear Rapkin again with Identify Technologies. Thank you so much for joining us today. I know you're all busy, and I'm really excited to talk to you about uh, Identify Technologies and drones and what they can offer you and your business. A little quick background on me. I, uh, I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Identified Technologies. I went to the Carnegie Mellon Tepper School of Business. I've started and sold two tech companies. And uh, I'm really excited about the technology that we offer. We've been featured by TEDx, NBC, CNN, Inc., uh, Business Times, US Magazine, TechCrunch, and South by Southwest. And uh, we feel that what we offer has a, a pretty impressive value and is a real step forward. Uh, for the whole industry. The agenda for today is we're going to talk to you a bit about just the basics uh, everyone should know about drones. We're going to talk about how drones are benefiting uh, specific industries. We're going to present a case study, how drones are putting an end to uh, late and over budget projects. Then I'm going to open it up for just open audience Q&A. And if you guys have questions at all, uh, you can either go into Google Hangout or just message and uh, I'll be glad to respond. And then we're gonna have a special limited time offer only for our live attendees. So just to get into it. RC planes and helicopters have been around for a long time. Uh, if you see that picture on the right, those are definitely some like 70s or early 80s jeans and, and clothes. So uh, th these are nothing new. And it, it kind of begs the question, why are drones such sort of a sudden phenomenon when we've, we've had RC planes and helicopters all this time? The reason is what the RC uh, remote control plane and helicopter experience was for most people was this. They were very difficult to steer. They were very flimsy. They were very hard to use. And, and when you were using them, they were mostly just a toy. Uh, they weren't really a tool for business. Um, so you usually would have your uh, your RC experience and like this young man here. So what changed? Why is there this sudden massive interest in drones that we see today? Well, it's a combination of things. Uh, a combination of government and private sector innovation. Uh, NASA's developed some unbelievable flight controllers um, to really fine tune the movements of these devices. Uh, the Navy has developed GPS, and this used to be massive, massive uh, machinery, but now most of it have in our smartphones. Uh, the same miniaturized sensors and gyroscopes that you might have in, again, your smartphone or your, your Wii remote uh, can now be put in drones so it knows exactly where it is and how it's moving at any given moment. And uh, tiny digital cameras like the GoPro. Um, can all be added to model aircrafts to make them now not just a toy, but a really high precision, um, high autonomy tool, uh, very appropriate for any professional setting. Now, drone can mean a lot of things, and they, the price and the capabilities can range from uh, almost $100 million for a Global Hawk from Northrop Grumman and these things weigh about 32,000 pounds and uh, have a top speed of 357 miles per hour to uh, you know, a sort of a hobbyist uh, amateur level drone, something like a DJI Phantom that'll let you take some pictures um, and uh, come in at around $1,000. So, so there's a huge range in sort of what drone means. Drones are being used, uh, we're seeing early applications for real estate, uh, for, for sports, and for movies and TV commercials, where now instead of having to hire a helicopter to get some amazing aerial shot, you're able to bring this in and uh, just be lifting the drone itself instead of you know thousands of pounds of uh, uh, of equipment with uh, you know huge fuel costs and a, and a highly trained pilot. Now the issue with this is uh, usually it's a you. any human to have perfect consistency and perfect accuracy. So that means if you want to do something for industrial use, like a map or a worksite, they would have to perfectly maintain the exact same altitude throughout the flight. They would have to perfectly map and capture every single inch of the job site and maintain uh, 
that stay perfectly within the perimeter that you set. So you're not either crashing into trees or going onto other people's property. Uh, there's virtually no human being that, that can actually maintain that. But by using some of these new innovations with flight controller software and, and some of the other developments that we just mentioned, you can actually have computers and drones that can control themselves autonomously. You can pre-program the flight simply by selecting the perimeter of the area and the drone will break down the path into what we call a lawnmower pattern um, where it will automatically cover it, staying within the perimeter, covering and mapping every area that, that, that you need information about without missing an inch and maintaining its altitude and precision the whole time. This has a lot of applications in industry. Uh, we're seeing use for it in agriculture, in construction, landfills, mining, oil and gas, mapping, and surveying. And uh, again, at any time when previously you would have needed mapping information, uh, or, or especially aerial mapping information, and you would have had to bring in a plane or a helicopter, can be much more efficient, and in fact, much more accurate to do it via drone. Some people assume that all a drone can get you is photos and video. And uh, well, that might have been true uh, a few years ago. Today, you can get very high accuracy 2D distance measurements. You can get 3D volumetric analysis, which has broad uh, reaching applications from mining and stockpiles to earth moving projects. You can do 3D point clouds, contour line maps, you can do digital service models, or DSMs, orthomosaic overlays. You can do site risk prevention and response, which means if previously you were having a human being or a helicopter uh, go over, let's say, a pipeline to look for signs of uh, corrosion or damage um, so, so you can treat it before it becomes a real problem, now you can do that via drone uh, much more cost effectively and, uh, and, and simply automate the process. And you can also do as-built overlays. So you can take the actual building plans and superimpose that over the progress to date and then share that with the customers or with, uh, with your leadership, basically to make sure that there's no misunderstandings and show them the current progress to date. We have several new innovations that we're gonna be releasing uh, in, the, in the months ahead. Uh, we're already doing testing with uh, gas detection and methane, uh, with multi-spectral cameras, and with thermal imaging. Um, so that, that's in kind of our direct near-term pipeline. As great as drones are, uh, especially with their, their new autonomous capabilities, even most autonomous drones, you still have to uh, be limited. Uh, drone batteries don't last long. Um, they, they have to be very light uh, so they can fly and that means the batteries are fairly small. Uh, most drones can only make it about 20 minutes and that means let's say it's a minute to take off, minute to land, now you've got 18 minutes and wherever you go you've got to come back. So that might mean you can only come out nine minutes and then come, come back another nine minutes. So very limited flight time and every time it comes back to land and you want to continue the flight, you have to pop in a new battery, which is a problem because you have to do that by hand and batteries can explode. So let's talk about some of those issues <laughs> and, uh, and, and maybe some good ways to avoid them. So if, if you want to start using a drone today and you want to control it manually, you need to uh, train staff in drone safety, flight, and FAA regulations you need to file for and receive an FAA Section 333 approval. You need to source and purchase safety insurance. You need to buy or design the correct drone for your exact need. You need to select the area that you want to scan. You need to charge the battery, take off the drone. You have to control it with perfect steering and altitude. You will need to land, swap, and charge the drone batteries and keep repeating that until the job's done. When you're finished with that and you land it for the last time, you need to download the data. You need to buy or design the correct software to interpret that data. You need to process the data into secure mapping reports. 
act on those data insights, you need to properly what if it malfunctions, um, or if it's damaged or lost. So quite a, quite a few steps, unfortunately, involved in standard manual drone maintenance. Now, the way that identify technologies is different is we try to take a lot of that work off your plate to make it a much more attractive proposition and just get you the data you need. So the steps when you're using an identified technology boomerang drone is you need to select the area you want to scan, choose the perimeter of your job site, and you need to act on the data insights that the drone delivers. We take care of everything else. We help with the uh, all the legal aspects, we already have the exact drones you need uh, for mapping and all the equipment you need. We, we built our own proprietary uh, software to, to do the analysis. We have a system that will allow you to uh, automatically swap and charge the batteries for you so you don't even have to get involved and to download the data securely directly to the cloud for your access. So other than choosing the area you want to scan and then acting on the data once you get it, we take care of the rest. And one thing I want to note especially is at the end there, if, if you just lay down $50,000 $50, for a mapping drone that you're controlling and it flies away or it's damaged, you're out of luck. You're out of $50,000. With us, um, part of the deal is we cover you. If there's a problem, we overnight your replacement for, for free. Uh, and that's just part of sort of the assurance and uh, of working with it. Uh, this was a quote we got from one of our partners. Uh, this is John Mackin, the site manager of Mosquero Construction. He said, we had outdated topographical maps when we budgeted for our earth work on site. Our estimates were 20% off in the wrong direction. We were the ones that had to absorb that risk and error. I wish we had identified technology's data before we started. So I know um, hearing about how our technology works is good, but I, I'd like to actually show you because um, it can be hard to, to fully understand without seeing it. So I'm going to bring up a quick video to share with you. And this will show uh, how our technology works and the value in it. Now, if you've done a lot of aerial mapping or survey work before, you know it can take uh, easily a month before you can get a two-man survey team or a helicopter on site to do an aerial map, and then another month to actually do the work and, and get your data processed and back. So to be able to do the mapping in a few minutes, uh, you know, a 100-acre site in less than 10 minutes, um, has a real value to it. And having that data back faster means you can make informed results and you're not working with old data. Um, old data on a rapidly moving site is wrong data. And we, we feel strongly uh, that, and, and our customers feel strongly, that this time savings uh, just makes for better, smarter business. So I'm going to share with you now a case study uh, about a project we recently did 
in Elkhorn, Kentucky. And this is really the focus of this case study is can drones put an end to late and over budget projects? So this was a project we did for Kokosing Construction Company. Um, their project was to map uh, cut mountains. This was in Elkhorn City, Kentucky. They had two 1,000 acre sites and the project took us under a half day. Kokosing is uh, based in Westerville, Ohio. It's one of the largest family owned construction companies in the Midwest. The primary business includes heavy industrial, transportation, buildings, pipelines, environmental, and marine work. Now, it, this was a highway project for the Kentucky Department of Transportation, and they wanted uh, to cut through five massive mountains and use the rock excavation for fills. Now, five mountains is a big job. Um, th there was a total of 33 million cubic yards of earth moved throughout this project. They had been using scanner technology to track between the mountains, uh, according to head surveyor Bill Clifford. But because the distance was just so vast, the scanner points were not close enough to give a true representation of the terrain. Um, we were able to deliver uh, grid DSM, which you see here, gridded to every three feet. So a much higher degree of accuracy and precision and in much less time. This shows Pike 1 before they started work and Pike, Pike 2 after it was completed. So you can see the, the massive clearing cutting through these mountains. And Bill Clifford, the head surveyor, said, we're already looking at drones for this particular project and identified technologies boomerang system worked out great. We had our data back even faster than we expected. The boomerang flew on a Tuesday and we had our results Friday morning. The peace of mind we had knowing our data was current and our project was on track was invaluable. So again, for this whole case study, their goal was the rapid aerial survey of five cut mountains in Elkhorn City, Kentucky. And this was done via a single self-piloting boomerang drone deployed with no human intervention to survey the site July 14, 2015. So one testimonial was having that mapping data and being able to share it with clients and off-site leadership had a real value. Normally these people either never would have seen it and wouldn't really appreciate the scale or the progress, um, or they would have had to come out at a, at a great expense to themselves, not only in terms of um, cost with travel and, and hotels, but also time away from other meaningful work. This was from Bill Clifford. Our clients and directors off-site were thrilled to see the job site progress without the cost and convenience of coming out. The combination of precision, 200 times faster speed, reduced cost, and increased safety checked every box for us. So beyond the standard 3D aerial map, I'm going to share with you the video uh, that we were able to provide of uh, kind of a fly through of the project. And this really helped the leadership and the clients understand the scale um, and the progress that had been made. There's just no way to, to explain that with words. Uh, the client and the team has to see it. And uh, that's deliverable with any project you like. Kosing also said that in such a remote area, there's no opportunity to sell extra rock, so any excess is wasted. Um, we're able to save $5,000 in rental and labor fees for every single day earlier we finish, um, but because of equipment and, and labor needs. And the boomerang shows exactly what we had so we didn't pay for any extra days of overproduction. And that was both for the crusher um, that was needed to break down the remainder of the mountains to perform grading, drainage, and rock channel protection along the new highway, and all the staff involved. And um, probably the honestly most important thing about the boomerang is it takes your human loyal labor 
out of harm's way. So this was from Bill too. The boomerang drone takes workers out of harm's way. You can just sit back safely and watch it work instead of trudging on, on what could uh, potentially be, you know, uh, an uneven and uh, difficult to traverse uh, area, which any mountain and most job sites are. So what is the ROI? What, what does all this really mean? And, and what is the business value to it? How does a boomerang compare to standard survey methods? Well, instead of having to wait two months to get mapping data, we were able to perform the mapping in a half day and have the completed data back uh, within a few days after. We were able to eliminate 105K in costs and that represented an expense reduction of 86%. It removed any risk to employees Um, with, again, their clients and their leadership team. And I just want to go back to cutting the mapping time down from two months to just a half day and getting much, much more accurate, near real-time data back because of that, eliminating $105,000 worth of cost, which represented an 86% expense reduction. We're proud of that. So with that, I want to open it up for Q&A. Um, but before I do, I, I want to tell you about that special limited time offer that I mentioned earlier. So I am the Chief Marketing Officer of Identified Technologies. Um, I, I'm familiar with what we can offer. But the best person to talk to if you're considering uh, whether or not our technology is right for you is going to be Jeff Black. He's our senior business consultant. His background is with the US Army, HP, and SAP. He has a lot of drone experience um, and just knows our, our offering and our technology forward and backwards. So if, if you're interested in learning more, I'd invite you to now please uh, go to this website, black.youcanbookme, and sign up for a free 15-minute consultation. Uh, he really knows the technology forward and backwards. There's no one better to talk to. And we're, we're not going to sell it if it's not right for you. But if you are trying to explore what applications would make sense um, and, and what kind of value could you see from this, uh, I'd invite you again now, black dot, you can book me. So with that, I'm going to go back to Q&A. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer them now. And uh, anything we can't get to at this time, um, again, you'll, you'll want to speak to Jeff. And uh, any any questions are fair game. I just want to be helpful. So uh, definitely feel free to start sending your questions over. So one question uh, that we get pretty often is, why is it called a boomerang? Well, because it's autonomous and self-piloting, you don't have to take it off, and uh, you don't have to steer it, and you don't have to land it. So just like a boomerang that you just throw it and it comes back, it's the same way. Our drone, it automatically comes back to you after it's completed capturing your aerial mapping data. Um, a great question is, is our boomerang data accurate? There's nothing more important than that, because if it's not precise, why bother? Well, we are at 99.6% match to standard aerial accuracy, which means we have uh, precision down to a single centimeter.
we do work with international companies. Um, we we're based in the U.S., but we we already have international partners, and we're proud to work with uh, businesses anywhere in the world that uh, are interested in what we can offer. We recently had a request uh, for maps that were certified and stamped by a third-party firm for verification. Um, we can provide that. We do offer stamp products through third-party civil engineers and surveyors, if that's something that uh, your business would value. Since questions are still filtering through, um, I'm just going to, again, suggest that uh, if, if there's anything that you want to follow up with, please do take the, the few minutes to book with Jeff. Again, it's black.youcanbookme. And um, there's really no better way to spend you know, 10 or 15 minutes just to really understand what the technology can do and if it's a good match for your current uh, company's needs. So again, that's black.youcanbookme. So uh, Nick asked, how do we process the data? For pricing and industry-based software, we can output in every industry standard. Um, so whatever software your uh, G GIS team uses for mapping, we can provide. And um, we, we work with clients that have kind of all different needs for that, and, and we've been able to be pretty flexible and adaptable. Our main uh, data tools uh, are the industry standard of ESRI, CAD, and BIM volumetric calculations um, when it comes down to 3D volumetric analysis. OK, someone asked, how is the data shared from the boomerang? Uh, that's a good question. So it is uh, completely wireless. It, it uh, streams to the cloud wires wirelessly uh, for your secure access. Uh, Pedro asked if there were uh, resale opportunities. Uh, thank you for your question, Pedro. Um, we are talking to many wholesalers right now. They're interested in redistributing our products. Um, it's definitely something we're, we're exploring and uh, would be happy to talk to you further about it. Um, again, your best bet would be to, to book with, uh, with Jeff at the You Can Book Me address and um, follow up there. Another good question, uh, can you mount new cameras or sensors on your system? So great question. Uh, the answer is yes. Um, we can use virtually any sensor, and we're happy to customize our system for your specific needs, as long as the sensors aren't prohibitively large or heavy, so as long as the drone can haul it. And um, Pedro followed up and asked about pricing. Uh, it's variable. Um, the exact pricing is going to depend how many uh, acres are you trying to cover? Uh, how large a, what's the word? Um, how, how regularly do you need it flown? Do you, want, uh, do you want it flown every day? Do you want it flown uh, once, a, once a week or once a month? Um, so things like that will be factors. Um, but uh, again, if, if you talk to Jeff, uh, we'll be able to give you a more exact quote. And uh, we do have example projects online where, where you can see results in action. Uh, if you go to our website under case studies, uh, we now have three different case studies posted uh, with a variety of, of white papers where you can actually see, here's the job we did. Um, you know, Here's the data we got. Uh, we have some technical reports available, um, in including uh, ones verified by third parties. 
Um, so that's that, that's all available. And if you have uh, any specific requests, uh, either for other information, other jobs we've done, other other um, data, we're happy to provide that. Okay. Well, with that, um, I think I should let you guys get back to your days. Uh, I know there's more questions, but I'd, I'd really encourage you to follow up with Jeff um, just so, so you can really have a conversation about this and fully understand uh, what, what we can offer and whether or not it's right for your needs. So again, that website to follow up is going to be black.youcanbook.me. I know you're all really busy, and I deeply appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to, to learn a little bit about what we can offer, what our technology is. And uh, I just want to thank you for your time, for your attention, for your great questions. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.